Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9 To The Skies. So, today's episode... Uh, first things first, I, I do want to kind of go over everything that I did between episodes. I moved this out a little bit so you can see that like all of those uh, are now pointed towards that little mob masher. And uh, it takes up the entire platform now. I've moved all of these forwards. I added some of these uh, Vitalik source links because uh, whenever anything dies, these fill up a source jar nearby with some source. So that's pretty cool. It's like a death generator, basically, for uh, Ars Nouveau source. So that was cool. I, I just put those there. I'm not using any relays or anything to send all of it over to our Draugmi farm because, meh, can't be asked. I think it's fine. This is keeping up anyway, so I should probably make some more Draugmi's, to be fair. But it doesn't really matter, because the only thing we're really doing is uh, we've got the piggy in there. So it's all good. Anyway, uh, that's one thing. You'll notice this is super quick now, because da -da -da -da, I put some uh, white concrete under this. I set this to a timer of two milliseconds, or two ticks, which is not milliseconds, is it? It says it right there, 20 second, or oh, 20 ticks is one second. So, 10 times a second, this thing is turning off and on. And, uh, yeah, that's just doing a block update on all of the dreadful dirt, which means that they spawn more often. Who knew, hey? Who knew? Well, Mad Dog or Thor, they knew because they told me to do it. And I think I did get a comment about it, so thank you for all of the comments that people have been giving me. But that is a lot of stuff coming in right there. And for some reason, these don't want to stack unless I do like a middle click. And we actually got a flight flight totem out of that. Obviously, we've already got that. But, I mean, you could just leave it on and you don't have to, like, fiddle with it. And it would work really well. That's all I did, really. I think I did that and I uh, set up the automation for the integral components. Integral component for the draconic tier. So... Uh, what that means is it's just six times faster instead of four times faster. So I put this in. It's a little bit quicker, right? And I've got a few of these, like the, um, I'm using the Igneous Extruders right here. So, oh, you know what? I can actually put both of them in. I don't think it does anything if I put both in, if I'm honest. Right there, it's just going to make a six. So we could actually take out the integral component that's already in there, and it should be fine. This one supersedes all of the other ones. Yeah, perfect. Um, I only did that because I was like, oh, there's a quest for this, and I, for some reason, did all of the quests. Oh, no, I left them. There you go. So they, they added a few to the uh, getting started quest line, and I got the, what was it called, where you complete a chapter, and it does that really loud sound pops up saying you've completed the chapter. I got that and I was like, oh yeah, I should have recorded that. My bad. But all they've added is a 64 soul sand, which this tells you that you should be haunting sand to get soul sand. Which, um, I don't know if they put this in because of me and the fact that I, uh, I for some reason didn't even think of it. It's because the, the first, you need soul sand to, to haunt soul sand, right? So, soul sand... You need to get some of this soul fire first. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, oh. Love it. Love it right there. So, uh, oh, yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. Um, if we pop down over here, how many... There you go. Sunflowers is barely gone down. So I, I feel like that's working after we added that little bit of automation to that. Anyway, what was I saying? Um... Soul sand, that was the one. So, so with soul sand, you need a soul sand first to make the haunter to then make more soul sand. And I was just focused on automating soul sand like this, I think, and that was dumb. We should literally just be haunting. And that's exactly what we're doing, right? So if we pop down here, we are literally haunting it right, right in here. Right there, there you go. So it's still going, by the way. We're still getting quite a lot of stuff. I think, um, yeah, Nether Quartz is actually quite high up there. That's never the one that you always get the most of, right? 
that's pretty fun that we get get loads of that. Um, we've got loads of gunpowder now as well. We should do something about that. I don't know if there's any anything amazing we could do with gunpowder, which would help. But B bomb. I actually don't know what that is. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, what else have I done between episodes? I think that's it. I just need to put these integral components in all of the, the different things that I've got. Uh, yes, yeah, so we do that and swap that one out. And then the last one is right here. I might have another one somewhere. I've already done these two, I think. Yep. Uh, the reason I did this, there was a quest, I think. I think it was in Getting Started Part 2. If we have a look. I think it's called like the ultimate phyto or something like that. Phyto and then there's the ultimate phyto which is around here somewhere. Now, this does remind me, there are these Kunja Island things. So we could get some villagers and we could spawn in a deep dark and summon the warden. I think we're going to try and do the whole series without doing that. And then once we got our first ATM star will maybe spawn in a couple of islands. They look really cool, I will admit, but I think every other YouTuber, there's loads of series going on right now on this pack, aren't there? Like I know uh, Bottle Top Hornet, he's, uh, he's been playing it quite a bit, so you can watch his series. There's obviously System Collapse and uh, Chosen Architect as well. So... There's loads of different series going on right now, and I think it'd be fun if we were a bit different and we just didn't do any of those. And you don't need them, thinking about it. You don't need villagers. You could do everything without villagers. And you don't need this one. Because this one right here will give you a deep dark and everything, which is all good. But if I do... Oh, what's it called? The uh, I've, got, I've got one down here. If we have a look at the Echo Shards, you can make one of these Skulk Cores. And what the Skulk Core does is it allows you to spawn Wardens using the Shriekers. Although, to be fair, don't we need the uh, the thing that activates the Shriekers? These things. How do we get these? Ancient City, apparently. Maybe we do need to do it then. Ah, oh, poo. I was going to say, that would be really cool if we managed to do it without, without that. Oh well, all good. Anyway, uh, we'll do that another time, I think. Ars Nouveau is really good. You could do everything with Ars Nouveau if you wanted to, but uh, as I said, loads of other people are doing Ars right now, so I'm going to do something else. Why don't we automate a few things? So I haven't got any Dark Matter yet, have I? Dark Matter. So I am going to do one of those, and we're going to pop down here. And there we go. we just got a Dark Matter. That is a quest. I don't know where that quest is, to be fair. We should probably have a look through all of the different quests that are in here. Is it the star? Why does the star look so weird? Crafting the star. Why have we got nothing in here? Oh, you have to complete chapter two. New dependencies getting started. So, it's this one. Oh, we're missing a few. So it wants us to make some flux dust, which we can do, and a marine fisher, which again, we could do that. I'm going to get away from here because these are loud. Why are you not taking any damage? Oh, you're actually outside of the thing. Correct. Right, anyway. Uh, so, what is it? It was uh, the marine fisher. Marine. What I really love about this pack, by the way, is the fact that um, if we have a look at the quests, these have got ticks, meaning that we've, we've done them. I know a load of packs, like, if we haven't got this quest, and we've already done literally everything else apart from this one, it will just not give you any of the quests, and that's so annoying, because I, I tend to skip quests because I don't really look at them <laughs> a lot of the time. Uh, anyway, we're going to make some flux dust in a minute. Let's make the marine fisher first. I'm in like a really questy mood today. So Now, again, I, I think I've said this a couple of times already, but 
I oh by the way this this is awesome because it, it gives you a advanced machine frame so you don't have to make one yourself and then you can use that for the lasers but anyway what I was going to say is I've recorded these like really far in advance because what I do is I basically record for like uh, I don't know five six hours and then I edit them into a couple of videos I've been meaning to not do that basically uh, but I've been playing so much because I've really, really enjoyed this pack. I think it's really good. Oh, we're going to throw it on the floor. This, by the way, will get us some ink sacks. But it's not like we need that anymore. But what it will also get us is a load of enchanted books. So we are actually going to set this up. And do you know what's funny? I'm going to use some prism ring for this. What is funny about this is it needs power and my... Uh, what do you call it? My gates. My gates don't work underwater because they'll just pop off. So I could get a cable and put a, like a cable that goes down and have a gate right on the top. But why don't we just go get some flux stuff? Because I did say I wanted to swap over the flux at some point. So, which is funny because we need to do that anyway. So if I grab some obsidian... Right, let's just grab a 32 obsidian. We don't actually need that many, do we? New, no, but that's fine. And then we'll grab, I don't know, a couple of things of glass. Yeah, there we go. And then we just go to the end. I could do it here because we've got... Where is it? There's the bedrock right there. But I'm not going to do it here because I want to show that you can do it in uh, in the end as well. So this is the end island. And what is this? This is bedrock as well. Makes sense, doesn't it? So turn off our magnet, and then we want to do a piece of glass, put some obsidian on top. Let's break the glass. And then you just throw down all of your redstone, and then you click. And then we got a load of flux dust. And that just unlocked like a load of stuff for us. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, and we completed chapter two. There we are. And then it's time. Oh my god. Look at all of those. Flipping heck. Oh, because this is only just opened up because we finished chapter two. Look at all of the stuff we've already already done for this. That is so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Why have we not got this one yet? Oh, really cool. Yeah. Um let's let's go back home. And what I'm gonna do is we are going to collect flip in heck. That's just a lot right there. Wither predictions. Actually gave us some wither predictions. That's pretty cool. And a 64k. Not bad. A bit of steel. Vibrant alloy and all of that. Anyway, um, let's get into... Oh, wait, that was some flux stuff. It, it gave us a plug and a point. That's really cool. I like that. Now... I'm going to put, uh, yeah, I'm going to put a plug right here. New network, Pilpo's network. I'm going to put it on the Pilpo blue. That's down there. And we're going to say create network. So now that is pumping. There you go. Just do something like that. That is going to be um, attached to this. We could make some like storage like this. Basic flux storage, but it's too expensive in my opinion. Uh, but what we do want to do, really quick, is let's grab okay, one of those, and we're going to make ourselves a block, flux block. And I'm going to put that right somewhere where I can automate making flux. Where's a good place for that? Maybe over here? Over here might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do it right there. Woo! I turned my uh, magnet off, didn't I? Silly, silly sausage. Right, so what we can do is if with the flux block, we stick it here. Um, demagnetizer. I need another demagnetizer for this. I could use that one there and upgrade it, but I like having own, their own specific ones, right? So I'm going to pop that there, and that means that nothing in this area is going to be picked up. So... 
then what we need is two modular routers. Again, I love modular routers, so we're going to use them. Modular routers. We actually need two, so we need another one. There we go. One and two. Uh, let's make maybe use three, because why the heck not? Break that. Put that one there. There you go. That lava will flow out if I hadn't have done that. So anyway, I'm going to put that one there, and I'm also going to put that one there. Maybe, instead of putting that there, we'll put it over here, just to make it a little bit neater. Uh, so, we need to cable this up over here, and I'm going to put another one of these uh, pattern providers on there. Right, I went off on a tangent, and I thought I probably should come back in right here. Um, I'm making this work over here. It's, uh, yeah, it's hard to explain. Basically, I wanted a motor... Uh, one of those electric motors from uh, what's this mod called again? Create Crafts and Additions. Yeah, one of those. And uh, uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Is that going to break anything? Yes, it's going to break something right there. Our washing station has stopped. That's fine. Anyway, um, the way that I'm going to do this, yeah, it's back together. I've got all of the components already automated for this. Uh, I will actually go show you those because I did it in a weird way. Uh, if I go to here. So we've got this pattern right here for the copper spool. This thing. They've changed it recently. So it's the immersive engineering copper wire. And uh, you can do that using the engineer's wire cutters. So I just made a recipe for the engineer's wire cutters. That's all I did really. And it should make one pair of these and then use them over and over on some of the uh, copper plates to get the wires. And then I just put all of the other recipes in, basically. And then what you can do is that, when I've ordered one, has sent them all of the components into here. And then I'm going to use some modular routers, obviously, because I am obsessed. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Damn it. I just realized what I'd done. That's not at all what I wanted to do. I want to grab all of these back out. Just real quick. Yeah. And we're going to set this one to... Bookmark all of the different components. There we go. So I'm going to set this one to be... Uh, let's do the... No. I'll tell you what. Brass plates. And we'll say whitelist. So that means that this one can only pull the brass plates. So if I take this out... Not going to pull anything else out of here. Let's put that back in. It's just going to pull the brass plates out. Now we need a distributor module, and we're going to bublink this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then what that will do is it will pull out of here into here, and then send to here, 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 and here. So I do that. Distributor module. It's kind of annoying that you can no longer see where you've bublinked on one of these. That's what I call it, by the way, bublinking it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that's changed. That's changed recently, I know that, because it was not like that until very recently. We're going to do the next one, which is also a distributor module. And I'm using distributor modules wherever I'm doing multiple things. So I'm going to set this one to be the copper spool. So that's going to pull from here, and it's going to put the copper spools in the correct place. And then I've got a load of sender modules. So let's do the andesite alloy, which is right at the top there. And the puller module is going to be for andesite alloy. So we put that back in. So puller and sender. You could probably do this a way easier using, I don't know, something like Xnet or, I don't know, one of the other methods. You could even use create itself. Why are you not going there? So I missed that. Where's the other copper spool? I swear it should have three copper spools. It's probably in there somewhere. You know where it is? It's right there, isn't it? I knew it. Let's turn that one away. So we put that one back in there and it should go here. Lovely. So these next two. That one is the rod, good old rod right there. So one of these needs to be set to the rod. And then the other one needs to be set to the capacitor. Like that. So this one and this one. 
Now, I forget which one's which of these two, so I'm going to do that and see where it sends it. Is that the middle? Is that where the rod's supposed to go? Or the uh, capacitor? No. That is the wrong one. So we'll swap that one out. Get that one back out. Plunk it back in. Plunk that one back in. Now, this does need rotational force just to begin with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate this. And yeah, we can set this to 32, can't we? A little quicker. I'm going to automate this by adding the uh, the motor to this, and we can get rid of this one. And we can set this one back to one because we like it being at one, don't we? Nice. Okay. So now, if I put this here, and then we put the motor on this, and then we use a I'm going to use a gate for now. I'm going to use both. As in, we're going to get flux as well. And we can set this to the highest it can go. Just because. Because reasons, that's why. And now we can say, craft me. You know what, let's do... 16. I haven't got brass automated. That's interesting. Okay, well, don't craft me 16 then. Let's craft... Uh, eight. We can do eight. There you go. So it's going to go prepare all of the stuff and then it will start putting all of them into the barrel, which will then be pulled out and put up here. And then we need to get this into our system. So modular router on that one as well, because why the heck not? I'm going to put that here. And we're going to pull from there. We're going to send back into the thing right there. There we go. Uh, it's got us an electric motor. It's going to make us all of the stuff. And there you go. You can see all of the electric motors are coming in. We'd probably speed this up if I'm honest. Yeah, we've put loads of speed upgrades in this. It doesn't need to be quick though, does it? Because I'm not really going to use them that much. What have you got for me, mate? Yeah, we're going to do this like every episode. Portal charm, interesting. And there we go, we've got a load of electric motors now. Elecky motors. Lovely, the whole reason I did that is because apparently you can use a deployer on... I was trying to figure out a good way of doing this, but you can use a deployer on the, uh, on the obsidian. So if I get obsidian, and I put it like here... And then I also need just a random block to put stuff on. I think it needs to be like this far away. And now I can put an, ele an electric motor on this. And I'm going to do another gate, because why not? Use one of the crappy gates. So that's going to poke that. And if I have some redstone... And I just lob that under there. Are you going to poke it? I might need to right click on the on the, the hand, right? Is that how that works? Or you... Ah, oh, does that not work? I kind of thought that that would work. Because if I did this, it's going to be fine. So I need some way of poking. Ah, oh, you could put it on that mode. So that's that doing literally a punch. I wonder if that's going to work now, though. Let's try that. Redstone. Obsidian. Okay, let's give this a go. What about if there's nothing there? Is it, is it not, it's not going to do anything, is it? If we lob some redstone, it does it. Actually does it. How cool is that? And then we can turn this one into a breaker module. Oh, I'm so happy with that, honestly. So we are just going to use a regular iron pickaxe because it doesn't really... Oh, no, wait. It's obsidian, isn't it? It needs to be diamond level. Okay. We can't do that then. Let's grab ourselves a diamond pick. Might be a good idea to use something better than that, but still. Anyway, I can lob this here. Oh, we need to say... Four words. 
going to break. We can then do a sender module. Sender. Tell this one to go up into the one that's being imported. And then we just have a placer module. Okay, okay, place a module and another modular router. You could probably do this with. Um, should we do it with applied instead? Yeah, let's do the active formation plane. Formation plane. I just realized we should probably use other mods that aren't just modular routers. This is so good though, isn't it? So, anyway, cable. No, nope, on cable, this one. So what we can do is right there and right. Oh, you know what we can do on top? That'll look way better. Let's do one of those. And then formation plane goes there. And we can say obsidian. Are you going to do it? Device offline. Why are you offline? Three channels. Oh, you're offline as well. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? That's fine, because we can do this. Look. There you go. And now it'll do it. <laughs> um, I haven't actually done the uh, the flux dust automation yet, though. So we want to do one redstone. Or actually, should we do them in 64s? I think 64s is a good idea. So what we do is this. But then instead, we change this to 64. And we change this to 64. And then that is the recipe right there. So if we do that, and then we do flux dust. I don't know why I decided to automate flux dust. So that's going to make a 64. Now, what that's going to do is put 64 in here. And then we just need to have a dropper module. Drop a module. Just like that. And you can drop to the front, which is what we're going to do right here. Oh, you bum -ole. That's not at all what we wanted. Because what we want to do is a stack upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's stick that in there. We'll do a stack upgrade in there as well, to be fair. Oh, it's already made Made our thingy finish. Cool. Anyway, that is kind of done, I think, if we do this and then we do some speed upgrades. I'm out of blaze rods. Interesting. We should automate the, um, the energy condenser as well at some point. Oh, no, because we've got access to um, the transmutation tablet now, don't we? We should probably start, like, teaching it stuff. So everyone keeps saying that these are the best. They probably are, to be fair, the Zycraft gems. So these are really good for EMC. Oh, they seem really good, to be fair. But I think we get a load more Gas Tears, and they are actually more EMC. And Gas Tears do come in relatively quickly, especially with my setup, because we're doing so much Soul Sand, aren't we? I wonder if it'll show. Oh, I missed it, damn it. Yeah, but anyway... That should be getting us like a stack of uh, of gas tiers like every so often. Whereas, uh, yeah, okay, I guess that these are also coming in relatively quickly. Let's get ourselves a blaze rod. Single blaze rod we've got left. That was useful, wasn't it? And we can start pulling stuff out. And we can chuck them all back in. Easy. Nice. So... What are we going to do next? What was it that we wanted to do with the blaze rods? We wanted some speed upgrades. Speed. Speed upgrades. Speed upgrades. And I think that's everything. Should we try and get some flux dust now? Let's do... A hundred flux dust. That's going to make a hundred and twenty-eight. Start. Ah, we haven't got a thing to pick this up though, do we? Ah, what we can do is this thing over here is only 
picking up sky steel, but we can actually tell it to pick up some uh, flux dust as well. And that needs a stack upgrade. Okay, okay, we can do that. Stack upgrade. Why is it not letting us chuck more over here? Oh, because this has only got okay a certain amount, and it has this. No, this doesn't have any acceleration upgrades. There you go. Perfect. Right, final test. One hundred. Go. And it's done. <laughs> What? That's so cool. Oh, because this has got a speed upgrade now and a stack upgrade, it will literally chuck both stacks that we sent over here in, into here, or all of the stacks that we sent into here. And then only one punch is all that is needed. That's really cool. Right, I am putting all of the flux things that I think we're gonna need. I'm not gonna make the, um, the storage. I don't think we need flux storage like this. If we're gonna do flux storage, we'll do well, the AE flux storage because it's way better. Like this, uh, two five six cell can hold like a ridiculous amount. It's like comparable to uh, one of those big battery things you can make for mechanism. Anyway, um, we are going to make a flux controller though. That's not a flux controller. There it is, flux controller. Because I want to show you a thing that I normally do with my flux controller and that is i get rid of these three cores because you only use one this is the only recipe that only uses one of the cores so unless you're going to make four or three more of these uh flux controllers these will be stuck in your system forever and not do anything so we're just going to yeet them because we don't need them uh, so this we can put i'm going to put it right on top here just to be weird and we're going to stick that on our network. There you go. So we're being charged. So all of our like stuff that needs energy, like the wireless crafting terminal, for example, is being charged from our flux network. Now, we do have our player. Where, where is our player thingy? That is a good point. Did I, did I pick it up? Let's have a look. No, I definitely put it somewhere. I, I know that. I know that for a fact. I thought it was over here though still. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. Over here? Did I put it in here somewhere? Interesting. Oh, there it is. I put it right at the back. <laughs> yeah, so we don't need this anymore. Um, this actually is pretty good because it also charges everything in your inventory. But sometimes you don't want to charge something, so you want to put it in this inventory. So we're going to get rid of it. We don't actually need this anymore. And Flux Networks is by default cross-dimensional. So yeah, very good. Uh, I'm not going to swap everything over to Flux, I will admit, because uh, I mean, we could, we could get rid of all of these gates and everything and just go straight for Flux. We need a Flux plug actually. Flux plug. It's now automated, perfect. And uh, I'm going to put that Flux plug on the side here. This is where we're storing all of our power right now, isn't it? So, in all of the reactors. So, uh, the, yeah, what I was going to say, the uh, the flux point, the flux point, I should probably use instead of this right here. So, let me grab yeah, all of these good old rods. Stick that there. The reason you use a flux point, uh, this might be interesting. We were getting really good speeds off of uh, what I did right there. So I wonder, I wonder if it's still the same speed. Let's get some nitro crystals. Okay, another hundred. Is it still really quick? Oh, because these are all pointed somewhere else. Okay, I need my wrench. It's on link mode, there we go. So if you do right click, right click so that's going to charge that one up okay that's just going to make it go really quick as well i don't know what i did to this it's never normally this quick for me there we go and it's like dun 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 and done so we can make some dark matter now so i can do that that's going to use some of that fuel though some of this stuff 
we kind of wanted that for the philosopher's stone, didn't we? Or whatever this is called, philosopher's fuel. Hmm. I think I should really just focus on one of these. I might focus on the dimensional seed because we've already got like quite a lot in the dimensional seed department. So let's focus on the dimensional seed. Now, if I do this, it looks like we just need to maybe automate the seeds right here. So that's that's going to be simple enough. The only thing is the Gaia spirit. We can't do that one yet. But maybe I'll just try and get all of the rest of them done. The nitro seeds should be... Never mind. Those are kind of a pain in the bum. It's not that bad, looking at it. We, we get a decent amount of nitro. Okay, well, I can, I can program all of those in. Oh, I'm going to have to do the red dye and everything and get the, the whole infusion, all, uh, which is yeah, annoying. But okay, I'll get onto that. Right, there we go. So we can make the infusion altar. We can make eight of the pedestals. Why is this not a quest? Maybe it is a quest and I just missed it. Uh, where are you in here? Mystical agriculture. There you are. Uh, you want us to make a prosperity. Why do you want us to make a prosperity seed first? That's weird. Okay. Optional. Uh, the end happens to be completely normal in this empty world, and there happens to be plenty of prosperity all there. If you're tired of sieving soul sand, go visit the end. Okay. And then this one is, the prosperity will passively generate prosperity shards. That's a good tip right there. The only thing is, we will probably do bees. Oh, we should be doing bees for insanium, right? I should probably get get on with that at some point. Anyway, we're going to make some prosperity shards. Not shards, seeds. And we're also going to set up an automation for that. Because uh, I want to try and automate the, the altar. Where do I want to automate it? I should probably do it down here somewhere, shouldn't I? All right, there we go. Everything's away. So we plonk all of these down. It gives you this really nice... Um, Ghost image on where to place stuff. You always miss, though. Oh, that was the first time I've ever done that and not missed with one of them. <laughs> so, that was good. Anyway, we need a redstone signal for this. So, I'm going to use a lever. Uh, you can put a redstone block underneath, but I, I want to get to it underneath. Or do I? Do I need to? No, you know what? I'm going to use the redstone block right there. So that just means that it's active and you can put a seed in there and it will uh, it will work the way that we want it to work. So the next thing is we need two modular, no, three modular routers, four modular routers. Yes. Yes, you heard. So what we want is one modular router that handles all of the essence, as in if we go to the seed itself, we want one that handles all of the like insanium essence, for example. In fact, are all of these Insanium? I think they are, you know. Yep, looks like it. So all of these are Insanium as it is. So we could literally just tell it to just do Insanium. There you go. So something like that. So we want a Distributor module. We want two of these. Thank you. And we want to do one... Should we do it in a nice pattern? You don't have to put them in the same pattern that you see them in in the uh, in the picture, by the way. So you don't have to put them in the corners or anything, and this doesn't need to be north. You don't have to do any of that. You just you could literally do like an insanium and an insanium, 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 and then the rest be the nitro blocks. But I like doing them in the patterns because it it looks more aesthetically pleading, as it were. So I'm gonna. Plonk that one in. We'll do a puller module and we'll do the same thing that we've done upstairs. So I'll have a barrel right here, which has got a pattern provider on it, which sends all of the ingredients and then this will send out to everywhere else. So we've done that and now I do all of these. That one goes in there and then we need a sender module. No, the other one, puller module. No, we do need a sender. 
So we need to send to here. And this will just be for seeds. So I'm going to whitelist seeds right there. So that will send to over here. And then we need a puller module. And that will go into here. And then that will go back into the pattern provider. Right, let me set up the pattern provider. And I'll kind of get on with uh, the automation for this. Send over here. So this, this one on the end here is going to pull the result out and put it into the pattern provider in the return inventory. So for the one that's got all of the components, like the, the, the nether stars and, you know, the blocks of nitro crystals and stuff, I've got a blacklist for that. And it's just the seed and the insanium essence. So this will pull anything else. Which I think is a good idea. I might be proven wrong in a bit. But anyway, um, the last one is going to be for some seeds. I've already done that. Whitelist seeds. There you go. So now all I need to do is go program this in and cable everything up. Where's my thingy? There it is. So what we can do with this is if we go to... That's literally the recipe right there. So we can just take that one out. The only thing is we don't know how to make this. So I have to program those in as well and we don't even have to go down there it's just a barrel isn't it so we can do that let's chuck these away um yeah i don't think there's anything else right let's get these ones going as well now for this one the dragon scale uh we either have to go kill the dragon or as i said you can get these as a drop i believe we are proper out of patterns again it's always a good sign when you run out of patterns because that means that you're you're using lots and lots of patterns. That's probably a bad sign for some people, but still. Um, I'm going to program in the Gaia Spirit one, even though... Oops. Even though we, uh, we haven't got the Gaia Spirits yet. But when we do have them, we can basically make this. So if I do that, I need to cable all of the stuff up downstairs. It's quicker if I do this. It's more fun if you jump off, though. Don't jump. Do a flip. There we go. So I could put these in like this. And then if we pop back upstairs, all I need to do is stick these right there. And now we can make those seeds if we want to. So if I do seed, why are you still making a dark matter? Did I pick it up? I think I did, you know. So, nitro seeds. Okay, actually, it did come up. Seed. Oh, yeah, I haven't actually automated um, breaking the blocks down, did I? That was easy enough. So, I should fix a bunch of issues. And there we go. Seeds. Uh, you know what? We can actually be down here. We can see it happen. So, I'm going to stand right here. And we'll order it via this. Start. So, fingers crossed, I got everything right. Is it trying to make us more nitro? It shouldn't. What are you doing? Well, it is making us more nitro. That's worrying. How much is it? Oh, actually, yeah, because it's three of the uh, the blocks of the tier tier one. So, the compressed ones. That is a lot of nitro that we need for that. And we need 19 of these seeds, remember. I don't know if they duplicate. Ah, here we go. You see that? They're all coming out. And there we go. And then when that's finished, that gets pulled out and put back into the return inventory. And there's our nitro seed. I love it. Let's try it with the dragon one as well because we know, yeah, we've got some of those scales already. Scale. Yeah, okay, we can only make one more of those dragon dragon seeds, but we can make 19 of the nether star seeds. Never mind, we can't because we need some more of the insanium. Right, that's a lot of automation we did today. <laughs> we did so many like little bitty automations. But you know what? I think 
I've got a plan for next episode, and I, that is my favourite thing to do in all of uh, modded Minecraft at this point in time, at least. And that is, uh, we're going to get into some bees. I like me some bees. And I like Lobster John's productive bees, particularly. Anyway, this is probably where we're going to call it for today. I've no idea how long I've been recording, but it's probably still going to be a long one. Might not be, though. No idea. Anyway, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.